My name is Alexandra Wilson and I'm the Director of Annual Giving and Special Events here at Pilgrim Manor Foundation. Pilgrim Manor Foundation is very unique in the fact that we offer compassionate care. Compassionate Care is a program that provides funds to residents who have outlived or depleted their financial resources, so they always have a forever home here at Pilgrim Manor. Uh, my name is Becky Stacy, and I'm the administrator here at Pilgrim Manor. So we have a really detailed process that we use um, to review our Compassionate Care program and the needs of the residents um, who join that program. Pilgrim Manor is really blessed to have the Compassionate Care Fund and to have the ability to help seniors uh, who require some assistance in affording that care to be able to have that care provided to them um, and to have a safe, secure environment that they can call home. I am Angela. I am the nursing supervisor in the health center. Um, I've been here for about three years now and I am here to talk about Carol Lessert and her relationship with us in the community. Carol first admitted to the health center in March of 2017. Um, she had been in a short stay at the hospital and she had previously been a resident at another independent living community. Um, she came and she was in rehab with us for about six weeks, just a little bit shy of six weeks, and she progressed wonderfully. Um, she had goals that she set and she was able to meet them pretty quickly and she was able to also move forward and develop relationships with other residents. Uh, she graduated from therapy and she moved on to restorative therapy and worked with our fabulous team and she was able to become independent with her walker and so independent that we invited her to stay in our assisted living in November of 2018. Music and Memory is the nationally recognized program that encourages providing personalized music playlists to persons that are living with dementia. Kara really benefits from the Music and Memory program. She has her own MP3 player that she keeps in her room and she learned to operate it on her very own and she, so she listens to it daily in her room. Music seems to be Carol's favorite thing to do. When you walk by her room, you see her just relaxing in a recliner chair. She's got her headphones on. She's got her music playing. Um, it's, it's what she really loves to do. I am Carol and I live, I'm a resident at Pilgrim Manor. It's great, I mean, everything's here. I'd never have to go out if I don't want to. And I think that's a plus. It was right during World War II when all the big bands were the big thing and I got to listening to them and kind of really liking it. And um, one of all my favorite bands, Harry James. It's just a lot of things like that. I mean, if I had to go without my MP3 player, uh, I'd wither away. Carol has so much music on her player. There's at least 17 hours of music, but she picked all of that herself and it ranges from various styles of music. And she learned new music through students from Cornerstone uh, University and our Life Story Project. They got her onto some newer groups out there and it creates a lot of conversation and connections. My name is Max Lockwood and I am Carol Asserts grandson. My grandma and I have always connected through our shared love of music um, and she's really, I'm a musician and I have performed a lot over the years and she's always come to all of our shows and has really um, enjoyed that and it's always been really sweet for me um, and I, over the last few years as I've gotten older, I've started learning some of the songs from her past when she was young, you know, like she's a big Hank Williams senior fan. And so I learned a lot of those songs and I'll come here to Pilgrim Manor and play them for her and other people, I'll play some Johnny Cash songs and everything. And it's, um, you know, that's that's always been really sweet. I'm, and I think that's uh, a really important thing that I've shared with my grandma. I love my own grandkids band. Of course, that's here and now, you know, but who wouldn't like, like him, you know? And that's, that's, I go to whatever I can to see Max's band play. But that, it's harder for people to get out and to take me and cart me around. So I'm glad that he can come over here once in a while. We took our exercise 
Girls and we used kind of a drums alive approach and played rhythmic music for her, gave her the drumsticks and, you know, just kind of practiced the rhythm of the music. Um, it was just, I could have died and gone to heaven. When my mom first came to Pilgrim Manor, she was just coming out of a stay from rehab. Um, she had taken a serious fall and um, was there for quite some time. Um, and we were in the midst of trying to find the right fit for her, the right place, um, because you know, she couldn't live independently anymore, but yet we wanted a place that could maintain her dignity and as much independent living as possible. So the Compassionate Care Program has been really huge for my family and my grandma um, to allow her to stay here and have a home and have a community and, you know, have programs that engage her and keep her active. You know, she's got a very active mind and, you know, it keeps her feeling vibrant and engaged in life, like I said. and. Um, we really appreciate that. It is um, a, a complete relief. I mean, this place really feels like, not only like it's family for her, but for us. I mean, we had Amanda, the social worker, in one of our Christmas pictures, our family Christmas pictures with Santa Claus. Um, so, and the staff here have treated my mom so well, and us so well. Um, you know, I, I really liken it to not the level of care of hospice, not, that's not at all what I mean, but just that, that warmth and compassion and true care that you get for the entire family. Um, and we have really felt that in droves here, so we're very appreciative. If we did not have the Compassionate Care Fund, if that wasn't an option for us, we would have had to have helped Carol find a home elsewhere outside of Pilgrim Manor. Um, and we really consider her a part of our family here, so we feel very blessed to have the compassionate care resources that we could assist her with um, in having her stay here with us. I would like to thank everyone here at the 2019 Celebrate the Spirit Gala for supporting Pilgrim Manor Foundation so that we can support our residents here. Thank you.